Dave Williams, the Toy Car Collector, coming to you live from Portland, Oregon with my convention luggage. This is the fabulous after convention luggage uh, video, and it may be the last after convention luggage video ever because I am never doing this again. And as a matter of fact, when I was at the convention, I told my best friend Todd Piontek, hey, Todd, I am never doing this again, all this luggage, all this stuff. And he said, Dave, you know what? 20 years ago, we were at a convention and you signed a piece of paper that said you'd never do it again, but you just keep doing it. Oh my gosh, I must be crazy. Also, this is a first. I've got a cameraman on this video. Can you believe it? My son is the cameraman, so now I can just act completely crazy. And that is, that, that's what people love on YouTube. I read it all the time because normally I just act like this. Um, yeah, here's a hot wheel here. But now I can act crazy. So let's get started. I got a side camera over here, so I'm gonna be close up if there's something really important. But here's what happened. I took this bag and this bag and this briefcase, which was made in the 60s, to take my stuff to the convention. And when I came back, I had another bag. Because the reason being is that I met with someone in Chicago, Illinois, Michael, and he sold me a collection that came in this bag right here. Oh, 270 car, 272 car cases, a 12 car case, and another 48 car case, all full of red lines. Beautiful, I love every bit of them. And I will be revealing those to you in a future video uh, after tax week, you know, which is this whole week. Got to get that done. So without further ado, let's open these. Let me open these and show you what the heck. You know, the whole th idea here is that you can see that if you want to be ridiculous and take everything in the moon and the stars to the convention or bring it back from the convention, this is what you're going to be looking at. And my best advice is only two, only two. If you can get to the convention with only two, great. And if you have to take a big bag, leave it half empty because you're gonna wanna put stuff in it and that to bring it home. So half empty if you take a big bag, only two if you can. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see, where shall I start? This is the check bag, this is the carry-on, this is the briefcase. Okay, let's start with the briefcase. I'll push these aside. Oh, hey, Redline Collector. Be sure to check out redlinecollector.com. That's my other website. So, let me just show you what's in this. Now, the collection that came in the 72 car cases is actually mostly in this package, and that's what it looks like. Beautiful. There are six trays, boom, six trays, and a few Lucy's, and of course the best car in the whole collection, 442, let me show it to you over here. 442, Rose, white enamel Camaro. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, baby, look at those. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cars. Okay, those were over in the close-up there. Now back in here, we're not gonna unwrap any of these. Future video, those are all gonna come out. This thing weighs like, I don't know, 25 pounds. Ooh, it's heavy. Ah. Then, okay, this is the uh, pack. Man, this stuff is heavy. That's why I'm never doing this again. So, all right, here we go. Let's see what's in here. This suitcase came to me. Courtesy of the guy who sold me the collection. Holy smokes, what is in here? You know, I have no idea at this point. Ah, some paperwork, a towel, and another towel. And check it out, it's two convention cars. I'm gonna go over here with a close up. There is the dinner car, the 81 DeLorean with the doors open. Got one of those available. And the Union Oil 76 Volkswagen Drag Bus. That was a convention car, one of the two special convention cars to make a convention special. Okay, in the display, oh, I've got some plastic baggies I took to the convention to put stuff in. And what's in here? Oh, this is my personal items. There's my shaver, I wonder where that was. Um, and at the bottom of the case here, my DJI gimbal. This thing is beautiful. This is, this is how you make smooth videos with your phone. You just throw it on this DJI gimbal. Beautiful. I actually didn't even use that this time because I got the, New miniature version of the whole process. Okay, and then the 72 car cases. Oh, I was trying to sell that for $75, but now it's 99, so let's take that sign off. Beautiful, right? You need a case? I got them, 99 bucks, plus shipping. Here's two of them. Now, when I brought it back, I didn't leave the good cars in here. I just put my uh, low cost cheapies in there, so nothing to see there, folks. 99 bucks a piece. And then these two cases, where did they come from? Oh, I bought these cases at the convention because I wanted more of these blue trays. I freaking love these blue trays. Blue trays. And the last one, this one, what's got in it? Oh, look at that, you know? This, I checked this bag, but here it is, $2,000 worth of Corgi cars. 
We've got Man from Uncle, Batmobile, Green Hornet. That one is that one is especially nice. I've got a Britain motorcycle, three of them, and the special buttons, the most special buttons from the collection that I bought, which are Dodge Charger, two old 442s, and a Boss Hoss. A couple of dollar cars and some more special buttons, better ones that I needed. Britain motorcycles. Oh, look at that. Four sheets of flour and special agent James Bond and James Bond Toyota 2000 GT. All of these things will be on display in my collection very, very soon. So they survived thanks to this case that I bought for 20 bucks that I wanted just for the cases or the trays, really. And that's really about it. Some other junk in here. I always hate unloading my luggage because it becomes a huge mess. And we'll just slide this one aside. All right, slide. And then there is a, then there's this big bag. What's in here? Let's see. Oh, that's just my headphones. Sony, if you need uh, Bluetooth headphones, or not Bluetooth, noise canceling headphones. Those Sony's are beautiful. I love them. Plus you don't have to pay full price anymore because they're old. All right, all right, what's in here? Oh, hey, more paperwork. Oh. Hey, and there's my uh, rental car. $300 for the rental car, $1,000 for the hotel, $800 for the plane ticket. You know, hey, convention, right? It's fun though. Go with all your friends. We'll open up this bag, see what we got in there. I really didn't take many clothes. There's a few in there. There's something I like to take to the convention. It's an HDMI cable so I can hook my computer up to the, to the television. Unfortunately, the this uh, hotel didn't have that facility, okay? Plastic bubble wrap bags, a fabulous Hot Wheels coat, 40th anniversary Hot Wheels staff coat, pretty darn cool, and look at this on the back. 40th anniversary Osaka, Japan. Thank you, thank you very much. And what's this? Oh, got a couple of shirts at the convention. Not my size, but they're quite lovely. Look at that, this one's 35th anniversary. 35th anniversary. This one is in a size double XL if you need a shirt. They're quite expensive, but well worth it. And some Hakusels, let's see. This is my gray sheet, which I like to use for my displays. And here's another shirt. This one, 4XL. Look at that, Hot Wheels 4XL. Now I like to pick up shirts like this because some of my friends are, are big fellas and they have trouble finding a shirt and these things are pretty rare. So I'll pick that up for you. Here's my backpack is in there. Look at this, I got a free umbrella. It came in the luggage. Hey Michael, if you want your umbrella back, just let me know. Uh, and two more trays out of the, uh-oh. Uh, looks like I stole some silverware from the hotel. Better send that back. I guess I was planning on eating some yogurt later. Don't look at my tiny whiteies. And here is my swimsuit. Oh, and look at this, another convention car. So look at that, I got about three of these available. Union Oil 76. And I've got a couple, two of the Camaros. Yes, that's a special Camaro from the convention. You can call me and I can sell you those because I don't need them. Has a sock, there's some stuff, more socks. Basically, everything is all about putting Hot Wheels in your luggage and then surrounding it with whatever's unnecessarily clothing. And in my box, I got a box. Here I have three boxes, here I have three boxes. This box has, in addition to a few oddball stuff, this is where I picked up uh, about five of these Tom Daniel models. This one is the Tijuana Taxi. There's about five Tom Daniel models in this box. It's pretty cool, I got the paddy wagon. Put that one down, hope I don't break them. Look at that, they survived, paddy wagon, very nice. Tom Daniel, what a guy, huh? What a guy. If it wasn't for Tom Daniel, we wouldn't love Hot Wheels half as much. And there's a bunch more in here. Oh, got another Red Baron. Ta-da! Red Baron. What a beauty. She's a big, she's a very big Red Baron. And an iced tea and a, oh, a purple one. This is bad medicine. They never made a Hot Wheel out of a bad medicine. But it is very cool. And I think I need all those for my display. We will soon see. Look at how all this worked out. So what did I put in this box? Oh my gosh. Got some revers, some stuff left over. I think this is just mostly supplies. Some little tiny pieces that I thought I'd sell but I never did. My GoPro chest strap. Nothing really important in there. And these boxes, this is the Sizzler reproduction case. Come in, these come in super handy for packing your Hot Wheels luggage. 
Oh, this one's just, oh, there's that external microphone with the, I never used that. Oh, and there's my power supplies and all that stuff. Look at all these wires. This is, when you're a high tech geek, look at all the crud you have to take along with you. But way down on the bottom is a Hot Wheels thing. Wait, wait. What's down there? Aha! Oh, look at that Union Oil 76 patch. Now you could only get one of those at the convention. One per person, and I have one. I have one. And let's see, what do we got? We got another box. Box, and a box. Look at this, and another box, and another box. Oh, and some clothes, throw those out, clothes. They're all dirty anyway, clothes. What's this? Oh, hey, ding-a-ling robot. Da-da-da-da-da. Ding-a-ling robot by Topper. There she is, ding-a-ling robot by Topper. This one is called the claw. Look at that. Yeah, I think he goes like this. Let's say. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ding-a-ling robot. I got two of those for my buddy Pat, Pat Quinlan. And this one is the boxer. Boom. Hey, there he goes. Boom, boom. He's uh, kind of tired. Boom, boom, boom. So two ding-a-ling robots for David. All right, what's in the bottom? What is in the bottom? Look at that. More stuff, more clothes. Throw that stuff out. Okay, some more convention cars. Picked up a Datsun, pretty cool. And the rest of the stuff, what's this? That I won, I won this in a drawing. And a Camaro, I bought that for somebody. And this big COA truck. I got that out of the, uh, the, uh, the pole, the pole, the vending machine pole. And the rest of the stuff down here is cars that I bought for a dollar a piece. New cars, new cars, new cars. Things I just like for my collection of cheap cars, new cars. Love the 53 Chevy. Love all this stuff. It's just dollar cars. And there's my camera mount. I got a new style, brand new. I got ordered that, picked it up there from Amazon. That's my favorite one, look at that. Is that pretty or what? What is it? It's a 41 Willys. I've never seen this model before. One thing about collecting Hot Wheels is so many you'll never see them all. You don't need to see that or that or that or that. Brought some tape in case I had to ship something home. And all kinds of crud in here. Oh, look at these little springy things for hanging stuff on the wall. Okay, let's go to the next bag because we gotta... Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you this out of the way. There goes my cameraman. Let's see, what did I get? What's in here? Ooh, hey. Oh, there's my mouse for my computer. Buttons, these are all the buttons that came with that collection. I don't know how they got out of the box. I guess they got out of this way. And over here, I got a Jackrabbit Special. Two more dollar cars right there. Throw those out of the way. And I actually took this to the convention, but if you need a sizzling six set box, this is just an empty box. About $600 for that. Very rare, very rare, very rare. And on the next one, oh, look at this. These I took to the convention, and here I took these, this and this, but I bought this for myself. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? It's a Matchbox super fast accessory for their race sets, and that one is beautiful. These things look like they were just made yesterday. Maybe they are, maybe they're fake, but I don't think so, they're original. Probably came out of a sealed case in Canada. They're beautiful, I had to have those. So that is really all that's interesting in that box. And then one more box, Let's see if it's something interesting. Oh, not really. Just some paperwork. But like the, uh, this is a neat picture. I think mine got wrinkled, but if you went to the dinner, you got this picture, 81 DeLorean DMC 12. And oh my gosh, all that thing was, all this space was taken up just for a bunch of stupid paperwork and scissors and phone parts and all. That's, that's, that's depressing. That is depressing. Put that over to the side. What else we got left? We got one more bag. Come on, maybe there's something more interesting in here. <sighs> yes, there is something more interesting in here because this is my check bag and you gotta put your valuables in a check bag. Or no, what am I saying? Not a check bag, a not check bag. Huh, it's my tuna fish. That's what I eat when I'm at the convention. Very smart, very smart. It's good for you, heart healthy. Oh my gosh, look at that candy, checkbooks, cash. All kinds of stuff in there. I want to show you that. Oh, you know what? You know what? This is cool. Check this out. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. I did buy one red line blister pack, an orange Nomad. Pretty cool. Derek's getting a close up there. And over here, that's, that's something I took. Okay. Here's my portable tripod. 
It's the most fabulous tripod ever. It's made by DJI, the drone people, and you just screw it together. It is rather heavy, but you just screw it together and then you just pull it apart. No, not that part, this part. You just go like that and just, there's a secret that you gotta learn to pulling it up. It just goes up, up, and up, and the legs come out even further. It's pretty cool. And there you go, big tripod. Very cool, okay. And here's my bag of goodies. All right, check this out. What do I got, what do I got? I've got, oh, here's something new. I bought this wallet. This is a 1978 Hot Wheels wallet in blue vinyl, Dixie Challenger. Pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these in ages. I paid a lot of money for that, it's silly. I never bought that. Okay, next, let's see. Oh, here's my, uh, oh, here's my mini. Check this out. Ta-da! That is a camera on a gimbal, a miniature camera there on a gimbal. All fits in this little teeny tiny case. So cool. Hopefully the footage I took with that is good. Here is a case, here is a case. Here is the end of convention car, special car, pink Corvette. I got one of those available. Another pair of glasses, a headlight in case it gets dark at night. And a t-shirt from the dinner and uh, another Camaro to sell and then the most important thing in the whole convention is a 12 car case this one full of Hot Wheels bought at the convention at the convention and look at this cars from the collection I bought that are completely full of red lines and little plastic baggies yes and then matchbox case this matchbox case actually was where i put my cars that i took to the convention and they were 72 when i went there and now i sold about half of them so i replaced those half with some other cars that i bought you can't really see what's in there but that's okay and uh oh i'm having deja vu i think i did this before sometime and what's in the bottom just a few more cars another blister pack and another convention car and a Chevy Silverado. These are all convention cars I took and my 19 different pens because I gotta I gotta write down every ha oh I gotta write down every room I've been into and I didn't do a good job of it this time but there was so many rooms with cars in them. Check out this list. This is like a list of all the different floors and and uh, with all the rooms and the idea with the different pens is different days of the week you, you use different colors but that's kind of ridiculous. But that was a big convention. It was a big convention. Here's the here's my room key. I can still get in there, I guess. Oh, and check this out. One more thing in this bag. Watch this. So you need a lot of light when you're at the convention. Look down in this bag. This is fabulous. There are two lamps in this bag. They're hardly taking up any space. Here it is. I got these at Costco. These are made by Otlight. And they're model ACDL10A. ACDL10A. Check it out. I had two of these in my room to display my high wheels well, and there they are. They fit, they hardly take up any space because of their weird, this wacky design. Just put it, well, there it goes. You just put it down in this suitcase like that. It literally just hugs the sides of the suitcase. Look at that. You're gonna have two of them in there. And uh, it was beautiful. So, plenty of light in my room. And that's all, that's everything that I brought back from the convention. It's just way too much stuff. In the future, I'm gonna have two shirts, two, one pant, Two, two shoes and one empty case and that's it. Forget about all that stuff. But I will see you at the next convention, Los Angeles, California in October this year and Charlotte, North Carolina in April of next year. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to hit the, li the like button, hit the, yeah, the like button, thumbs up, like button and subscribe if you haven't already and tell your friends because I, I need about 100,000 subscribers. Please, I need them, please, please, please. Okay, that's all. Thanks, bye, bye now.